Good morning and welcome to our weekly conversations with Catherine here this at the library. How was this past week at the library? Oh, we had a really fun week. Uh, we had our first um, session with our tail wagging tutor. Oh, so right. the kids enjoyed being able to read with Champ, our tail wagging tutor. We had our story times, we had our music, kind of just getting in that swing of fall. Is the tail wagging tutor here every week? Every Wednesday okay. afternoon, there's four slots available, so it's a very small program. Good. And that's aimed at younger kids um, or beginning readers? Be uh, beginning readers. Okay. So usually we're talking um, towards the end of the school year, kindergartners, but um, at the beginning of the school year, more like first, second, third graders that are practicing with their reading confidence, reading out loud. Um, and like I said before, Champ is a wonderful listener um, as the kids read the really nice stories. stories. Yeah. What is happening at the library this week? Well, this week we have our uh, story times today, and we have music makers tonight and tomorrow. And that's our and our tail wagging tutors on Wednesday. And I think I have one spot left on Wednesday for that. Uh, and that's kind of our big thing. And then not this Saturday, but the Saturday after, the 18th, is our big Star Wars Reads Month party. Nice. And that has been very, very popular. We have members of the 501st, which is a reenactment group that's actually the only group that is um, okayed by George Lucas. So they have okay. movie quality um, costumes that they wear okay. and so members of them will be here to take pictures we have crafts we have refreshments all kinds of things and uh, kids are, and parents are invited to come in costume and it does not have to be a Star Wars costume we have okay. we always say all costumes are welcome Star Wars are encouraged <laughs> And we're close to Halloween, so you yeah. know, they may have their Halloween costume. Mm -hmm. they could and wear. that's one of the things that's nice because, okay. you know, it's always nice to be able to wear it more than once. Yes. Yeah, well, and not have to worry about the temperature outside. Yes, too. that's true. So, I'll take that. Um, anything else happening? What about all these programs are free? Yes, everything at the library is free. That'd be great. At the Arts Council this week, we have our wood carvers tonight that nice. is open to anybody that would like to join. Thursday, we have our basement painters that are in the afternoon. And this Thursday, we have a new art exhibit opening. So from 4.30 to 6.30, you can come and join us. It's called Nocturne Paintings. Mm -hmm. We had the South Dakota Artist Alliance uh, did some work, and they went over to Good Roots Farm and painted at nighttime. And so all their works are inspired by that. Very cool. And then our one new class this week is our alcohol ink class. So it involves black tiles, and you're working with different types of paint and then alcohol and doing flowers and all this great stuff. So if you liked the acrylic pour class, you will love this class here. This that sounds weekend. really, really interesting. So what book did you bring today? Well, since we've been doing a lot of picture books and um, a few nonfiction books, I decided to pick something completely different. This is a book <laughs> called Framed, which is a chapter book. But this one is one about how art can inspire a community. So um, basically the British Museum is flooded, and we know nobody can deal, uh, relate to floods <laughs> nowadays. Um, and a way to protect the works of art is they are putting them in this uh, coal mining cave that's no longer being used. It's got great security, it's got very the right humidity and all that kind of stuff. And uh, through a friendship, a local boy in town is able to talk the curator into bringing out one piece of art and how one person sees that one piece of art changes something in the town and then it keeps continuing on with how one piece of art basically resonates with one person and it slowly um, transforms this, what's basically a dying coal mining town into a very vibrant community. Nice. Well, and it just highlights how important art is to our yes, culture. Yes, and it, it's so. that power of transformation. Absolutely, I know my daughter loved that book too. Mm -hmm. So. I brought Listen to My Trumpet by Mo Willems. Now, we had a Mo Willems book here before mm -hmm. because, which is one of his new ones, although he has a new pigeon book out too, I think. Yes, he does. Uh, but this is one of his older series uh, that he does not write anymore for, no, which is kind of sad. It's a Piggy and Gerald book. And so in this book, Piggy and Gerald are best friends. And Piggy uh, has decided that she's going to take the trumpet up. Mm -hmm. And so she goes and she plays for Gerald, and it does not sound good. It <laughs> no, is it questionable <laughs> at best. 
and Gerald being a good friend uh, tries to find a polite way to tell her that she does not sound good on the trumpet. It is an ex excellent example of using kind words with a friend. It is very much so. I'm, every single one of his books uh, in regards to Piggy and Gerald are so good about a lesson learned or being a good friend or just a fun thing. Mm -hmm. And in the end, we find out that uh, Piggy is not trying to play music. She is trying to sound like an elephant. Yep. Because she would like to talk to Gerald in his native elephant tongue. Yep. And so uh, it ends up being a great story there. It's a great story no matter what. It, it definitely is. But it's a good story at the end. So uh, more information about this can be found at the library. This can be found at the library frame. I know this can be found at the library definitely. too. Definitely. Do you have multiple copies of? I should. Uh, most of my Gerald and Piggies I do have two copies okay. of. Um, of. Pretty much anything by Mo Williams. I try to make sure that I get two copies. Is this part of a series, or is this one by itself? Um, all of his book, well, I'd say all except for one um, of his are standalone books. Okay. Um, another unique thing he's done is he's, uh, if you're familiar with the classic Chitty Chitty Bang oh, Bang, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's reimagined Chitty Chitty Bang Bang uh, modern. So if you're fans of that, um, that's his only one that's in the series and some continuing has adventures. Ones. Cool. If they have questions or need more information, they had to where? Uh, we've got um, the library's phone number is 692-9407 or the brookingslibrary.org online. Or if you're on Facebook, just uh, BPL Kids uh, if you're on Facebook. For the Arts Council, head to brookingsartscouncil.org. If you're looking for a class, just click on class registration and it'll take you right there. If you want information about our new exhibit on Thursday, just go to upcoming exhibit and it's Wonderful. right there. Yeah, awesome. See that post on Facebook, they do look interesting. It's pretty cool. Uh, thank you for joining me thank today. You for and we look forward to talking to you guys next week. Have a good day.